From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds here. The current fall colors, low color for at least parts of the Midlands and the Palmetto State. This according to Explore Fall, but if we look a little bit towards the mountains of North Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia, you have moderate color and you'll see just that little speck there of high color in the mountains of North Carolina. We're only 13 days away from Halloween. Daylight saving ends in 18 days and Thanksgiving is five weeks from tomorrow, 36 days from today. Pollen levels, not terrible today. Ragweed and grasses, low levels today and tomorrow. Temperatures were a little bit cool yesterday in particular. We did drop down to 42 degrees. Wasn't quite as cool this morning. We did manage to make it up to 69 degrees yesterday afternoon. No rain yesterday. Had some rain on Sunday. That was the last measurable rainfall in the capital city. Do expect more showers, it looks like, to move back into the Midlands by Friday. The record high for today is 88. That was set in 1947. Record lows, 31. Set in 1970. Record rainfall there. One of the older records. That one was set in 1887. So mainly sunny skies today and Thursday. Chance rain returns to the area on Friday. Looks like the weekend is going to be sunny and dry with temperatures probably in the low to mid 70s. High pressure firmly in control of our weather, so do expect a good bit of sunshine today. Maybe a passing cloud. We'll call it mainly sunny skies even as we go into this afternoon and this evening. During the overnight hours, probably clear. And then as we go into the afternoon hours, in particular of Thursday, those clouds will build back into the Midlands. So get into the afternoon and evening hours, you notice the clouds move in for your Thursday. Not looking for any rain on Thursday, but Friday morning is when we'll have at least that next best opportunity for some showers. So here we are Friday morning. There's six, seven o'clock. Here we are at eight o'clock. Notice that rain starting to move through parts of the Midlands and the Palmetto State. By noon, a lot of it's kind of east of our area and then probably a little bit of a break in the shower activity. And then as we get to the, we'll say mid afternoon hours, there may be another chance for a pop up shower, maybe even a rumble of thunder. As we get to the evening hours of Friday, the rain kind of moves on out and the weather should cooperate. As of right now, it looks like by the time the sun goes down, we'll have basically clear to mostly clear skies. Not expecting a ton of rain, anywhere from about a tenth to maybe a quarter of an inch. So a little bit of rain possible on Friday. We're dry on Thursday. You notice the European model showing that chance of rain on Friday. The American model showing basically the same thing, that chance of rain on Friday, dry over the weekend. So Friday's our next best chance of rain. A few clouds today, high temperatures. Topping off in the low 70s with a little bit of a breeze coming out of south at about 5 miles per hour. Probably mid to upper 40s to near 50 degrees overnight. Low 70s for highs for the last day of the work week with that opportunity for some shower and maybe even a thunderstorm. Over the weekend, good bit of sunshine. Highs in the low to mid 70s will be in the low 70s Monday, Tuesday as the dry weather sticks around. Some showers and storms possible on Friday along the coastal region. Low 70s over the weekend. Upstate forecast, low to mid-70s, both Saturday and Sunday. It looks like it'll be dry and pretty pleasant Monday and Tuesday. Looking a little bit ahead, 6 to 10 day forecast showing warmer than normal conditions for a good portion of the Palmetto State. That's the case in the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook, but the 3 to 4 week outlook cooler than normal conditions and maybe even wetter than normal conditions for us here in South Carolina. We're continuing to watch this area of low pressure associated spaghetti models with that area of low pressure shows it moving towards the lesser Antilles and then eventually turning more towards the north and east. So far we've had 19 storms, six hurricanes, three major hurricanes. So it has been a very busy season. Here are all the tracks for the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season. Took a minute or two for it to load, but a lot of storms so far. We've had 19 so far. Our next one, if that area of low pressure continues to develop and becomes a named storm, it'll be called Tammy.